The magnolias are the most primitive subclasses, and it's actually, it is called, we call them the magnolids or the magnolidea. This is just different naming, but anything which ends with IDS or DA, that means that this is a subclass. And in this subclass, you see you have many uh, orders and families. And around the table, you find it in the, in the first column and usually in the last column. The last, sorry, in the last row. The last row is the end of every, everything. So end is, of course, related to cancer. But also in the first column, because they have no borders. So there, you might have patho cancer, can cause pathology here because of that. But the ego would be different. The, the e ego of, pay, of cancer patient here would be, you know, like staphysagria. They, they think of children's staphysagria. They are not, they have not suppressed their emotions yet. So everything can penetrate. They would be de often dependent. But their dependent is, oh, I would just want to be one with you. Don't leave me. I want to be one with you. So they could be sick so that someone will take care of them. They would be easily influenced. Very easily influenced children. Now, they would be influenced from noise. Influence from uh, allergens, influence from uh, other people's emotions. They come into the room and immediately they feel. Now, they don't have words for that self or not, but they have the ability. Children have, have no ability for that. So what happened? They are just there, exposed, and immediately physical pathology comes. So they will be highly impressionable. Now, the essential request of, of the first column is to contain this fundamentally primordial life energy. And so it creates a vessel. So the whole, many of the question is, what is the quality of my vessel? Did I manage to, to, to create physical, emotional, or mental vessel? Because even vessels for, emo, for the, the, the brain is the vessel for the uh, um, for the thoughts. This is why dementia is also something that you see in the first column. Early dementia, like in Ranunculus bulbus. I remember I had the case of Ranunculus bulbus. This was a woman, she was uh, lecturer, lecturing in the university. She, she was 45, and she came to me, and she complained that she was not diagnosed with anything. She just said, I don't remember things anymore. I used to lecture, now I have to come with lists. By the way, patients of the first column often come to your, to your clinic with a list because they know that they will forget. They know that they will forget. So they come and they read you and then they say, did you write it? Because as an adult, they try to develop control. This is their one way of, of, um, of coping. It's not that they want to control you. They just want to control their immediate environment. So, um, so she, but she said, but even that now, I think next year I'm going to resign my post in the university. And she had tenacity, so I mean.